Jane Zirko, we're going to have you back on a more and more depth on the federal trial where they, they, they're keeping Miles Guo locked up because they don't want him to testify. But you've got more analysis on this situation. State security members uh, arrested by the FBI in, in the Southern District in New York City and other places about these minister of state security police stations. They basically got rounding up nationals. It turns out the number one target they had was Miles Guo, Jane Zirkel. Right. So if U.S. lawmakers have any question as to whether companies that are in mainland China right now that are U.S. based pose a national security risk to the U.S., then this case paints a pretty clear picture of that. The two gentlemen that were arrested in relation to the CCP police station outpost, which is a arm of the Ministry of Public Security, it's really just the tip of the iceberg here. There were also dozens of individuals arrested and not arrested, just charged with these um, cyber security crimes, many of which were directed at the CCP enemy number one, Miles Guo. And sort of the Steve Bannon, Barry lead of it all is two of these individuals charged serve on China's cyberspace administration. And this is the same CCP agency that owns stake in none other than TikTok. And part of the amended case refers to a 2020 report about Julian Jin, who was a Zoom employee. He acted as a liaison to the Chinese Communist Party, who took direction from the CCP to censor, attack, spy on, and harass Zoom users who were speaking out against the Chinese Communist Party. In particular, the case references a an instance where he went after a Tiananmen Square massacre Zoom organized protest and he would shut it down and block users. And so this is a whole crackdown on CCP infiltration in the United States. And this police station is not a one-off event. There are over a hundred of these police stations in major cities across the world, including another one that is still operating in New York City.